Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and the 1920s semi-historical campaign where the Battle Cruiser squ Squadron has come to the aid of some transports. So we have, believe it or not, our version of, or my version of Hood, which is a little bit... Um, heretical, and my version of Renown, which is not, and of course we have Repulse as well. Uh, all, ah uh, no, hold on, Renown is way off in the distance, I didn't notice that. Need her to get in full speed. And the enemy ships are to the northeast, we need to whack on the boilers and get up to combat speed very nicely hello really some fire coming in you can't see them it's maybe hidden in the morning gloom but they're there I do hate the stealth technology that the AI seems to have access to. Like those are small caliber guns. They're fine. There we go. Now those can absolutely murder a transport. Some progress catching up. Oh, how? <laughs> that was disappointing and a little bit unreasonable, I think. I thought I'd get at least one hit. This is where rate of fire really bites me in the arse. So we do have secondaries. Oh, nice shot. Repulse. Turn more hood. No. Oh wow, that did absolutely nothing. Well, that's interesting. Uh, that torpedo might cause some issues for the transports. Colm goes down. Excellent. Hey, my boy. Uh, we're still on turn one of the war, basically. <laughs> Slow start. Just uh, some cruises and the like. Ah, oh, there we go. Mm, I'm going to take one tall. 
Yeah, just the one. Ah, that one did do some damage. Not a lot, but it did knock the engines off. Hopefully they can be repaired. Well, Renown and Repulse go after the heavy cruiser. Hey, goodbye to your torpedo. Ah, <laughs> oh, now that is the best kind of hit to get on the enemy. Now that is what I'm talking about. I know some of them missed, but look, 15 inch hits, heavy cruiser, main belt, partial pen. Okay, what is their main belt? 9.7 plus 132. Fair enough, so call it 20 inch at a kilometer. These things should be able to go through 55 inches effective. So more than double how was that a partial pen? Makes no sense. And I'm playing this on uh, update 8, if anyone's curious. And it seems to be a particular problem with German heavy cruisers. It's not exclusive to them, but uh, it's pretty bad. New all over the place. Here we go, wind it up. That's a pretty good angle. There we go, pen. Finally, and see how much damage that does. But well, that should that should happen. Like that should, that's what should be happening. Um, it's nice to actually see it. Okay, good. But sometimes it just feels like the shells are not right. Yeah, plop armor. Oh, there. Uh, 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 fair enough if they ricochet off, but. You know. Something, something fishy going on. There we go. Finally getting a pen and obliterating the ship. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, excellent showing by the battle cruisers there.
light damage to them only. And then what do we have here? Barum, along with two destroyers, protecting a convoy. Okay. Uh, right, you two. Screen the barroom. And they're coming from over there. Okay. There's a lot of light ships to deal with. Hopefully we'll be all right. Again, stealth ship nonsense. There we go. Thank you to the destroyer for doing the spotting. I'm going to slow up a little bit. I know I don't normally. It will help with the uh, turning. And the Queen Elizabeth is a much better ship uh, for this kind of operation than our uh, or Acheron taking a hit there than uh, the Revenge class. She's not too bad, though. I'll miss. Need to slow him up. Oh, Jesus. Look at those turns. Turns and smoke makes them very, very hard to hit. Where are the destroyers? Don't want them getting to the convoy. I know, binoculars research, please. inch guns really uh, are doing a lot of work but damn when those 15 inch hit They have fired the torpedoes, but they are still a threat to transports. Let's get a partial pen on the destroyer. No, they do have armour. <clears throat> Uh, 
think there's coal finally. Two DDs. Uh, who I kind of need to just chase after the enemy DDs. And have Bar and deal with the cruisers. Uh, I, I have a Nelson, but it is not like the real Nelson. <laughs> uh, we haven't seen them yet. In combat. Oh, lovely. There we go. Transports on. They are <laughs> with 4.4 inch guns dealing with the destroyers by themselves. Good for them. Try and finish off the Kohlberg. Goodbye. next. Where are those German destroyers? There they are. ships do. Not very well, apparently. Immediately taking a bunch of hits. Danzig sinks. Good. Right, where's the heavy cruiser gone? Uh, over there somewhere. Oh, thank you for the follow. Terrible at life's. <laughs> uh, welcome. Oh, hello to the chaotic waifu as well, who has come to say hello in the chat. Give you a shout out while you're here. Thank you very much for coming along. That should work. Or not. Ah, because I can't spell. Yeah, now that time will work. <laughs> Jesus. Can you please hit? Hold on, this is ridiculous. What the shells are you firing? Why are you... Firing the HE shells. We should fire AP actually. Try 
Try those. Try some AP shells. I know you'll overpin, but maybe that will work. Might give us more chance of flooding them out. Coming to the rescue. Transport's merrily helping out. Ah, oh, there we go. That's that's more like it. Down goes the V8. Right, where's the other one? Over there somewhere. And Barham is still looking for the heavy cruiser. Should run off somewhere. Given that that other destroyer is very close, there she is. See if we can damage her a little bit. But I think they're running off. Ah, there's the heavy cruiser. Site with destroy. <laughs> kind of know where she is, though. Hmm. Now I've lost sight of everybody. Gah. What are the conditions like? Uh, evening, I guess. They could uh, hide in the gloom or something. There we go. Oh, Lemmy Show. I love Lemmy Show. <laughs> it's hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Pretty sure that um, Lemmy does uh, stuff on... Does he do stuff on Twitch now? Yeah. Okay. So I didn't. I didn't know that he streams now. Yeah. Um, so does the guy from the In Between Us, uh, whose name escapes me, but um, completed it. So, come on. Thank you, Nage. <laughs> I'm probably already following him. But uh, if not, no, I'm not. How silly of me. I think uh, we'll maybe end the battle. I think the Germans are disengaging. Or trying to. Yeah, I'm going to get the Acheron and the Bulldog to retreat. You never know. Barham might encounter something. But I'm going to just pop her in a retreat order as well. Actually, no, not a retreat order. Go towards the convoy. Ah, yes. Good. Thanks, Alaric. Increase speed on the barroom again. Yeah, we're going to end. He lived on Munro Street. Awesome. <laughs> but 6,000 victory points. For, oh, really? For a bunch of light cruisers? They, 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 oh, they are quite expensive. Look at that. 19 million each. Hmm, 22 for their heavy cruisers. The destroyers are fabulously expensive. Look at that, 16 million. Yikes. That's double ours. So I don't feel quite... I, I was being very mean to the bulldog then. <laughs> because, yeah, they're 7.8 million each. German ones are 16. Um update the prices so yeah I mean the our crews are slightly better according to the game but yeah the, those destroyers are incredibly expensive well 
we have successfully uh, gotten through the first month of the war um, and uh, yeah, reduced, reduced the German Navy a little bit and we have our own cruisers coming soon so that's good uh, we know what big gun tech we're getting what <laughs> what okay we were all wrong chat <laughs> we're getting mark 5 9 inch guns <laughs> oh my word uh sure I mean, they'll be useful for when we start doing our next cruiser design, heavy cruiser, and uh, we're looking to um, we're looking to do a refit of the Hawkins class, but we haven't even finished building them yet. Hey, Twitchy Knees! Been having computer problems. Uh, no, I sympathise. Uh, no action to this month. Let's see. How are we doing repair-wise? Oh, jeez. Revenge and Queen Elizabeth are going to be out for a while. Hmm. Still, we have, uh, we have plenty of ships. We have plenty of ships and we have plenty of money. Now, what are the Italians up to? Yeah, they they are probably going to come in on, on our side. That's good. That is good. Right, let's go to the next one. I should have done it. I should have made them 9.2s, you're right. Um, I was on the Minotaurs, <laughs> or the Minotaurs, depending on your preference. Um, yes, we now have uh, two more ships. We have Orion and Neptune. Uh, now finished, so we've got a couple more light cruisers off the slipways. Squad to the med, yes, I could do, um, but I'd rather have Germany reduced a little bit um, before I try and do that. Um, but yes, we could send some some ships ships down there. <laughs> no, I hadn't heard of the the bounce. Ooh, new hull, the modern destroyer, small and our uh, nine inch Mark V guns. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take off the 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 tech priority so that I'll take rebalances. Um, wait for that to go along a little bit more. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna end the episode here. Uh, next episode I will be designing a new ship uh, because we now have the modern destroyer which is going to be our first anti-submarine destroyer well that's not really but you know what I mean and that is going to be the C-Class so join me next time when we'll be building that anyway thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts bye for now